It's a 450 yard par four, six iron. It's the shortest par four on the course. But anyway, he's gonna be hitting driver and, deter and uh, where his ball is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, another Matty Jean Shardis Pants video. We've got Micah, and here's the interesting part. We're actually not gonna be competing today, but at the same time, we kinda are, because we're gonna be playing a nine hole scramble out here at Briggs Ranch. This place is absolutely fantastic, love this place. I mean, this course, with its beauty, is actually really, really hard, right? Like with Purcell Farms, there's a kind of there's some there were some missable spots that you could be in where you could still make a birdie, still make a par. But here, if you're not hitting the fairway and you're not putting yourself in a good position, you're gonna be making some bogeys. And we definitely demonstrated that yesterday when we played with the schmuck bases. We're gonna be out here playing nine holes, and we're gonna see how low we can go. I mean, I'm thinking birdie on every hole at least. And then there's that eagle hole that you can get at. It will be interesting. We don't know the course really well. We've been through the front nine once. We know what the holes are doing, but as far as like being in the right spots, we still got to get used to it a little more. But this is the this will be the first video you guys just see on Matt's channel from Briggs Ranch. This place is amazing so far. The place we're staying literally right there. Yeah, we're okay. We have a golf course in our backyard. Literally right there. Look at this. The hospitality, the food, everything has just been amazing. We've only, only been here one day, so it's going to be some insane content coming from here. I think it's going to be a great way to kick off first video. You Absolutely. Know, scramble. Let's see how low we can go. Let's just see if we can tear it apart. 10 under. So let's throw some pro numbers out there. You slap it up there first. Me and Micah have already been on the range. He's probably spent six hours. I've probably spent four or four and a half. We have been grinding out here trying to work on the game for you guys, so before we get started, of course, if you have not yet liked, if you have not yet subscribed, if you have not yet left a comment, make sure you guys are doing that. Follow all of us on, on YouTube, and then follow me, Tig, all of us on Instagram and keep up to date with what we're doing. We're always doing behind the scenes stuff on the other social media. So make sure you guys are checking that out. And of course, Madison, you beautiful human. She's got her vlog channel up and pumping. So make sure you're checking that out as well. If you want to see me do some absolutely stupid stuff, we're going to get involved here. Tig now with the driver, of course, it has been a struggle club for me and Tig. But here we go. Just like that. Just like that. See? That's... I actually hit that pretty good, but it's... That's the beauty of a scramble. As I get up there and I rip one, now Matt's gonna probably take his little Hebrid. You get one in the fairway, and then we're right back on track. But a good day. Oh baby. Oh baby. I think that's really good. I think it's really good. I, it may have dropped in the bunker, but I hope not. All right, so I think we're off to a good start. We're a little bit unsure. Uh, we've got 163 to the pin. You can see it right in that little thing. And my ball, unfortunately, landed right in the bunker. Along with uh, little Garrett peeking his little head out. Good lie. I think we're both going to probably hit nine iron here. Actually, I'm going to see what he hits and see if he's short so I can up my club if I need to. But unfortunately, Tig's ball did go out of bounds. So we got to take mine here. Is that off the green? Yeah. All right. He made the edge of the green there, as you saw. And nine iron is the club. We go there every time. I always hit a draw in this hole. Unfortunately, it's pretty far left. He struck it pretty well, but we do have a birdie putt. It's a long ways across the green, but we do have a birdie putt nonetheless. If we have to get out of this first hole with a par, it's not that bad. It's a pretty far hole. We'll take our medicine, make our par, and get out of the next hole. All right, and obviously, we're taking Micah's ball here. He landed on the green. It's a long birdie putt, but nonetheless, a birdie putt. And we're going to see what he can do here if he can't cash this in. That was a great putt. I thought First that was it of the for day. a second. <laughs> Jimmy. That's probably in there about a foot. Pretty much a tap in. Uh, Matt can go for this. He's just a little bit farther right. Gave him a pretty good read. Pretty happy with that. And I think I've talked about it once. I'll talk about it again. Edwin Watts, my man, came in clutch with the custom putter. Yeah, look at that. His link and everything will be down in the video if you want to check him out and get a putter from him as well. Absolutely legendary. It is clean and it rolls really, really well. Not that much. I think that may be a little bit hard. That's off the mat. Just so you guys know, that wasn't the putter. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. All right, guys. Matt's just going to roll this little two-footer in here for our par, and we'll get on to the next hole. Just like that. Cashes it in. So after the first hole, that is a really tough par four starting hole out here at Briggs Ranch. But nonetheless, we got our par. We're getting out, getting on to the next hole. We got like a shorter par four. All right, guys. This is what hole two 
out here at Briggs Ranch looks like. Still about 400 yards from these tees, but that is kind of short for the par fours out here. There's some pretty long par fours. But this is what it looks like. We got two bunkers left and right, and then the pin is back up to the left. So Matt's gonna hit driver here, and see if he can put us in a good position. God, I love it when I do that. And that just didn't Twice. cut. <laughs> You guys, I'd do that. I don't know what that is. I've been really focusing on hitting some cuts off the tee boxes, and for some reason, I just, I either don't commit to it or I just, I just don't do it. Clearly, Mike is gonna be smart here. He's gonna rip a little three iron, and give us a, a look into this hole here, since I clearly did not. Stay right of the bunker. Unfortunately, I think that's in the bunker. I might should have hit driver. I hit it hard, but it just it's into the wind. We're making this really easy to make some birdies out here today, folks, clearly. I mean, we've been putting the sand bunker twice now off the tee, which is exactly what we're struggling with. Our games today that we will slowly start figuring out, hopefully throughout the round. We've got about 140 to the pin. Wow. All right, guys, so Matt's going to hit eight because I hit it about as good as you can hit it, and it's a little bit short. So Matt's going to hit eight, play a little draw on there, and see if he can get one a little closer. This just didn't draw. All right, so that hit the cart path. We are on the green, got another birdie putt. We got to clean this up if we want to make this any good. <laughs> I'm going to play it about right here. Okay. This is what we got, you guys. It's actually a really good look. He covered most of the green here. I thought he was a lot shorter than this, but he's got himself actually a really good, a really good birdie putt. And so far, Tig's just kind of played this hole by himself. Yep. You gotta be kidding me! Are you kidding me? You literally hit that right over your intermediate target that you spotted, and you freaking make it. Are you? Such a good roll. These greens are so good. Yes. You know, sometimes in golf, when you don't do anything and your partner doesn't work, you just kind of, you can't do anything about it. I tell you no, what. That's right there. That's, that was, that's what, that's Duncan energy. <sighs> Gotta have a nice clean camera lens. We are one under par and now Micah has got eight iron into this beautiful part three. We've got some sand bunkers left, sand bunker right. Just bunkers, not sand bunkers. That's what you told me, I remember. Because a bunker is full of sand, so you can't call it a sand bunker because that's just a double negative, so you're not calling it anything. So shut up and call it a bunker. That's actually a really good shot. Yeah. Shoot. Eight irons of play, just a little draw in there, huh? Eight, I think eight irons of play. I hit it hard. I started at probably 10 yards to the right of the pin, and it's probably 20 feet left of the pin, so that's how much it drew. Don't use my seven if you're going to hit it. It's just not a good play. Not a good play? Why's your seven not good? It's just not normal. It's not anything like your clubs. I'm not saying you couldn't hit <laughs> it. not because I've hit your freaking clubs before. You can do it if you want. You got this. I believe in you. You believe in me? God, that was so clean. I think it's in play. You played it right of the green. You just didn't draw it. We got some things to work on. <laughs> We're trying to think of a lot of stuff here. We're thinking which way the sun's coming, which way the grass is going to be leaning. We thought about what Steven's putt did yesterday, so a lot of factors are coming into play. We're really trying to think about this and make some good birdies and some putts for you guys. So let's see if he can not roll the R-O-C-K into the into the P-I-N and make a B-R, B-I-R, D-I-E, birdie. That's how you spell it. Hopefully that's right. He's two for two. No! What is that? That is such a good, oh my God. Hopefully I can roll the Dwayne the Rock here. Now Matt has, like he said, has a good look at this. Good read. See if he can make it. And he just kind of pulled that a little bit. Nonetheless, we got a tap in par for both of those. So one under after three, going into hole four, pretty easy par four. Four. We've got a great eagle opportunity on that par five as well, so shut your mouths up, we're making eagle. All right, so a little strat play here, a little strategy play. Mike is gonna be hitting driver. It's definitely not even a driver hole for us, it's a six iron hole for us, because that's how big we are, and we're so massive, and it's just one of those things where, yeah, well, we're just big. Uh, don't, don't, don't tell people, right? It's a 450 yard par four. Six iron. It's the shortest part four in the course. But anyway, he's going to be hitting driver. Whether you know whether where his and uh, where his ball is, 
Where his ball is is de going to determine whether or not I'm hitting driver or I'm going to play it safe and hit a little iron and give us good position. Yeah, this is not a full driver for me and Tig by any means. Oh my gosh. Well. Is that, that bunker? I don't know. I think it might be just short of the just short of the bunker in that little gully there. I think it is too. I hit it pretty easy. Like I dialed you back. You dialed so. really, really far back. That pin, we we got room. If you wanna if you wanna hit driver, you can. I don't All see right. a reason not to. Yeah, we, I mean, we're we're in, in we're in a good position. Matt going with driver. If he hits this well, he can get to the green. Don't try to dial it back too much because we start thinking. Just rip it. Okay. Like I'm in a good position. If you're long, it's not bad. It's going straight at it, just left of the right of the pin. That's on, baby. That's on, baby. Let's go. Brit. Eagle putt. Let's go. It's power That's there. good. A lot of power. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Maybe we're starting to get it dialed in. I don't I'm telling know. You. <sighs> I tell you what. I'm Six burning. under in the last seven. Yeah. All right, so coming up to the green. Here is my ball just on the edge here. And then Micah's ball actually carried all the way to the back. Right back there, you can see his ball. And uh, we have ourselves actually a really good eagle. Okay, not good eagle putt. A really tough pin position. But nonetheless, an eagle chance and a two putt birdie. All right, guys, Matt decided to go first, see if he can make his own eagle. Give me a line. This definitely breaks to the left, and he uh, picked himself a line, see if he's going to roll it on it. Okay, not that much, but that was really good. That's though. a pretty good putt. Really good speed. Got about three feet left. That's actually a really good putt, so I'll just play a little bit left of that. We got a tap in, essentially a tap in birdie here, so. Micah can really get after this and see if he can't make an eagle. I don't care if you go long, brother. I don't. I just died. Look at that. have the speed up the hill. That's unfortunate. Golly. If I miss this, I, I might be done golfing for the day. Good. Right dead center. You guys? If you guys are liking the gameplay right now, well then like it for the gameplay. If you like it because you like looking at my ugly face, that's impressive because I don't know why you're here. Anywho, going on to hole five, and we're 200 par. Let's get involved. As I've said it once, I'll say it again, we're 200 through four holes, and we're coming up and on the fifth here. Great looking par five, and it's very reachable in two for us. We've done it with irons. We can we can slap drivers up there now and get really aggressive and hopefully make an eagle and make up for some of the pars we made. So Mike is gonna rip driver. There's a little bit of room on the left, right, kind of dead if you don't carry that tree in that bunker, which I'll show you right now. It is time. Lion King kind of thing. I'm probably gonna aim there too, and we're gonna both probably rip cuts into here. Draws just, I don't think draws play. Too scary to try and go carry this stuff and do some thing. Oh, that was hit so far, dead gummit. Dead gummit. Unfortunately, that's not gonna play. That's not gonna play. I gotta, I gotta come in clutch here. All right, guys, Matt, now with driver, just trying to get one to play. Mine was a long ways from being good, to say the least. That's literally perfect. Kind of a little 85% swing straight down the middle, just left of that bunker. That is going to roll. We are going to have a good number into this. That's a good, good, uh, good job on. Yeah, hey. That's always a scary swing, especially for, I think for big hitters like me and you, when we full rip drivers. And then we gotta try and dial back to like an 85%, 75% kind of swing. It's sometimes you can get handsy with it, and I usually duck hook them a lot, so I was happy to stay down on that one. But I did get the shaft that he gave me, you know, a new driver shaft or whatever that I've been trying out, and it's really good, so. Stay tuned, folks, we're making eagle. Remember we're talking about the hard fairways, right? And you gotta kinda adjust to it. My ball landed right about there. I hit the speed slot, and now we've got a hundred and freaking 17 14 yards into a par five so you guys go ahead and do the math you, you take your 450 is how long the hole probably was and you should track the numbers you tell me how far this drive was i'll probably get hit my little 52 in here this is crazy this is what we want to see great eagle opportunity me and micah can throw a little dart in here it's a little bit short but it's actually pretty we got a good look there all right, so I can get a little more aggressive there. Yeah, definitely 52 is a good play. We got an eagle putt. It's probably going to be 15, 20 feet. It is insane to have a wedge into a par five. Yeah, a little bit short as well, but uh, we're going to have some good looks at it. That was, a, that was a good swing there. All right, so I've landed just here on the edge of the green, and so has Micah. Actually, surprisingly, we thought he was off, but he actually landed on this green, and we're probably going to be taking his... 
And we're gonna see if we can't roll an eagle. All right, Micah's got his intermediate targets picked out. He's got a line of speed that he wants to hit. Let's see if we can't roll for an eagle. Ooh, that straightens out. Okay. All right, birdie secured. Good I'm gonna. Fun. I mean. Yeah, that was a great, great, great looking line. All right, guys. Matt got a good read after my putt, so he's just gonna see if he can roll this. This will be huge. That went in. That definitely hit the pin. It, see, here's the deal, okay? I think that, that everybody can agree that was in because look at the speed, okay? The speed was really good. It hit the it hit the pin, almost dead center of the pin. So I think that, I mean, I I literally think that like it hit, it came, it went down and hit this part, right? And bounced out. I mean, and, that part's not in. Take these cups, flip them. That's literally a money. I think yeah. that's eagle, folks. Look, yeah. if it hits that, it's the ball's already in the in the cup. Right. I mean, the ball was definitely like pretty much center of the hole when it was going. I mean, it's hard to say, but I think it's probably in. Yeah, well, we'll let you guys decide, but we're going to say that's eagle. Four under through five here. It, it had a little bit of speed, but the speed was pretty good, and it hit pretty much the dead center of the cup. We might even rewatch it right now and see what we think. After review, we have come to the conclusion that we both think that was in. Not being biased toward what toward us playing and trying to make birdies and eagles, but we're just pretty sure that it went in. So now we're at hole six, a pretty easy par four. It's definitely not a hole that you would want to rip driver on if you're playing by yourself but since we're playing scramble here and really trying to get aggressive matt's gonna hit driver and if he hits it well i may hit driver if not if i can lay back with a three iron unbelievable ball flight here dang i think it's gonna be short but i hit that just right into the short wind. of the bunker right just short of the bunker i saw it roll up i think we have some green to work with just with this wind i'm surprised i was able to keep it that that low but i've got the driver set at two degrees lower heck you guys that's what you wanted to see and it's what you're gonna see because you're you're seeing it all right comes down to a slap a rooney on this sun buck oh my gosh it's going the opposite way of yours into the wind so it's gonna be a good drive um we got some options those are two good tee shots Dang, we're gonna have to go see what we got, but for the most part, we got some options. That's what you want. Aggression, stamina, speed, violence, momentum, violence, speed, and a lot, a lot of power. All right, Micah's ball has landed here, and I landed just up there. I was a little farther up, but unfortunately I was in the rough. My ball started a little higher up here and it rolled. We got about 89 yards, and the pin appears to be pretty much in the center, so I think it's probably right at 90, playing 92 by 93. Yep, no reason to not be aggressive here, folks. Yet it spins all back down. Okay, so that's still gonna be a little ways from the pin. Maybe throw it a little bit long, let it spin back. Not my best effort from 90 yards, but hey. This could be it. Oh yes. <laughs> We're that's on the good. same wavelength on different Let's time, go. place, things. Yes! Micah's ball landed up there. My ball right here. We're gonna be taking my Paul. My Paul. How you doing, Paul? And we're gonna try and make this for birdie. This would be five under, that's what we need. Mike and Al is not gonna give me a read. He's gonna make it and we're gonna leave. Just trust it. J Half a roll and that's in. It gets to right there. The, oh. Um. It's dead straight, it's a dead straight putt, okay? Okay. A little timid. And off the record, guys, my, putt was, my ball was right up there and I, I literally made birdie with my own ball, but we can't play it because you guys wasn't on camera. Nah, you push that. You push that bad, Matt. So bad. That was such a bad putt. That's unfortunate, but we're in for par four under through. Now six holes. We got three holes left to play. I think we can still get our goal of six under. We got a par five, a par three, and we haven't, we actually haven't played nine yet, but I think it's a pretty easy hole. So we got a par five, par three, and par four left. It'd be sweet if we make three birdies. Like Micah said, we are four under now. So an eagle birdie birdie finish would be great. A birdie 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 finish would be great, but we need to finish one of the two. And I definitely think we can do it. This is a very attackable par five. A little bit downwind here. This is what it looks like. There's some guys way up there, but I don't think they're reachable. We're gonna kind of slap away here. That's good. Oh, I tell you what, is that good? I tell you what, is that good? I did. I hit that a little law in the face, but I've been waiting for a long time to hit a ball like that again. Piercing ball flight, not too high. It's not spinning a lot. That's what I've been working for. You going to draw or fade? I'm saying I'm going to try to do the same ball flight you did. I love it. 
Oh, hey, slippy. I got a little slip. Left foot, right foot, something slipped, honestly. Yeah, definitely. That Woo. was a huge slip. But he was kind of going after that one, too. Not to... Yeah, just he just slipped. All right, we've had some debate. We're trying to think about what we want to hit. I think we've both decided that a smooth six is the play. We don't really want to crush a seven, number one. I mean, there's really no need to try to force a club, you know? So we just take a little more club and, and dial it in a little bit. Mike and now, second shot, par five. Oh, he got away from it. I think six is the club. Okay. Like just a solid six. It's mine made it over the bunker, so I'm actually we're actually gonna have a look from there. We'll show you guys once we get up there, but Matt can just kinda leave it wide open here. Oh I hit that such a good miss. Sit. One of the best misses of my life. And it's just off the back side. <laughs> that thing never got above six feet. No. That was extremely low, but it was dead straight. Pretty crazy. Also, just want to thank Briggs Ranch for having us out. This place is unbelievable, and I'm so I'm so excited. We are all so excited to be here for a week, film a lot of content, and just show off this place. Uh, all of its beauty, everything they got going out here is just incredible. So thank you, Briggs Ranch. We're looking forward to building this relationship and playing this course. It's awesome, and being out here. So. Thank you. So my ball saw Tig's ball. My ball landed right next to that drain there, so it took a little bit of our relief. And Tig's ball is just over there. So we're taking this one only because it actually could be putted. We got three feet left there. It's definitely a putt. You just gotta make sure and get it up the hill. Like you saw it, it breaks to the right. I gave it a go. That's way long, but. Boy, he did. <laughs> Jimmy, you gotta slow down. Micah, now, not necessarily a gimme, but it's, uh, I think it's a fairly straight putt, yeah? It's all about just hitting it on the line that you want and being very confident with it. I mean, I think Micah can make a birdie here. It's very ideal. This is a very, very hard eagle hole, you guys. Nice. Never a doubt in my mind, folks. I actually started breaking a little right. They're all the same in the bottom of the cup. Hole eight now, part three, five under. Go. Two to play, we gotta get 600, that's our goal. I think we can get seven. I think we can go birdie, birdie. All right, here we are, hole eight. A birdie would be very good, very good. Uh, we both got pitching wedge in hand. It's definitely a pitching wedge play. And the, the trickiest part about this hole is it's right over that sand bunker. So if we're gonna wanna get aggressive, we gotta go right at it. Nothing the massive men can't handle. Oh my lord. I think that's... That's going right at it. <laughs> you know, that's one of those situations where that might be a hole in one. <laughs> you never know. It's, it could be. Feel pretty good about that. It could be close. If anything, I feel like it's a little bit long. Matt going pitching wedge well. I think that's a good club. That spun back. No. Yeah. No. What do you mean no? Guys, that's two darts. We have no idea where they are, but man, they oh, look did that good. Not, I mean, I don't know. I thought, it, I thought it hit long. My depth perception sucks. My balls can't see nothing. Look at the glasses on my face. <laughs> don't ever laugh like that again. Bradley, please cut that. It's like I tell Bradley to cut something. He's like, ah, I'm just gonna leave it in, make him look like an idiot. Love it. A little over ambitious. We thought we threw some darts, which we kind of technically did, but we were a little long. My ball landed right about there. Mike and now, dude, you know how big this would be? If we can finish like what we said we were gonna do. Birdie, birdie, birdie. All right, Mike and now. No, he didn't. Oh my gosh. That's just sick. All right, tap that in for par. All right, guys, Matt for birdie. This would be huge. I did the same thing. God. That ran by quite a bit. Whew. Not our best efforts. Nonetheless, we are five under with a pretty good par four here left. We're gonna go see what this looks like and uh, hopefully be able to make a birdie and finish the 600. That was kind of our goal when we started. That'd be pretty cool. All right, I'm hitting it right over that green cart for a little fade. All right, I like that. You can play draw or fade in this fairway, so it's a very nice hole setup. That's just straight right. It's in the driving range, folks. Golly, I was so late on that and I, I could feel it all the way. Hi <sighs> right, guys, Matt with driver. Another, I put the pressure on him big here. I love, what's up with the toe all of a sudden? What's up with the toe all of a sudden? This is where we're at, folks. Not a very good position. My ball landed here. Thank gosh it's in play, though. Mike is just going to punch this one out here. 
sit. That's gotta sit. Okay. Okay. May still hold out for birdie, I don't know. Matt's probably going with a seven iron, eight iron? He's gonna go with a seven iron. Well, you can't take a full backswing, that's the only hard thing. Hmm. Ah, dang it, too high. He got aggressive with it. We're in the fairway, but that's pretty tough. Ah, you hate to see this. This is not a good way to finish. So apparently Birdie's not out of play for us because Mike is, I mean, he's had this shot before, so he's just going to make it for us, and we're going to get out of here with a Birdie and just trick everybody thinking we're going to make a par. 100 yards. This is the lie you wanted to go with. All right, this video, guys, I'm sorry, this video is just finishing pretty, it's just disappointing. That's tough. Matt going 56 degree. Oh, oh wow, we're really good. Guys, we're finishing really well. This is uh. <laughs> Driver just wasn't the play here. I think me and Tig have decided. But we're not even out of the set. We still got a par look here. This would be great if we could sink this in, you know? Please do it. Please do it. That 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 was such a good putt. You idiot. I didn't even give it a chance. Stop. Stop. Alright guys, Matt, this is where mine ended up. It's about four feet long, but straight up the hill. So he's just gonna tap this in for our par and for our what? For our bogey. Hate to finish just like that. that guys i tell you finishing on a bogey is just really really disappointing we hit some pretty some really good shots and some really bad shots and considering yeah. all that and not making a bogey until hole nine i mean that's disappointing i tell you it's what, is just, that? what was that five under four four under finished it four we were finished five. finished it four or five we needed this to get at six and reach our goal unfortunately we were not able to do that but with all that being said some birdies were made some an eagle was made we played some some really great golf i mean that's that's what you can you can kind of ask for we didn't we had we had some bad shots obviously but uh that's what the range is for you know we're gonna go slap some balls around in the range later and figure out what we need to do to to become better everything was really good i would say except for our tee shots our tee shots are definitely yeah. where we lost our that last stroke that's and we played well when we when on the other holes when we hit a bad tee shot but this one just collapse. I mean, we both just collapse. We will start figuring that stuff as we go along and the more we play out here at Briggs Ranch. A big shout out to them once again because this place is absolutely phenomenal. We got a golf course in our backyard and it's and it's kind of crazy. If you guys did like the video, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, you guys, let us know what else you want to see. Me and Mike are going to be competing. We're going to have another match out here. Don't you dare get them mistaken. So some crazy stuff's going to be coming. You better shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.